welcome to Chris's Moto Light, Season 2, Episode 2. We haven't seen you since the show in York, Pennsylvania. I've got to talk a little loud. I didn't bring my microphone today. So, last time you saw this little Suzuki, it was in my living room. I don't know if you remember, but we did an episode on this. Well, guess what? Now it's in the history of dirt bikes. We're at Martin Motorsports in Boyertown, PA. A great motorcycle shop owned by Dennis Martin, a guy who puts a lot back into this hobby. And in an era when motorcycle shops are dying right and left, this shop seems to get bigger and better. So we've seen this bike already, but come on, let me show you what we've got around here. Come on over here. You can follow me. Great little XR75. Now this was the first bike that I ever had, my first real motorcycle. And you know what? I must have been a really small kid because when I look at this, I would look like a bear on a bicycle with this. I think this one is a 1974. I had a 1975. Mine had the red tank with the black badges. An awesome, awesome motorcycle. Come on, guys, we got a lot to show you here. Always a crowd favorite. And here's a pretty interesting bike. A neat little cafe. It appears to be a Honda CB350. And some interesting notes are if you look at the seat, that's some really nice fabric work on it. If we come around and see the front of it, check out these upside down front forks. Just a really, really well done bike. Come on, we got some more stuff to look I at, okay? Come on. We got a Honda Hurricane coming up. This Honda Hurricane behind us was never a big seller back in the day actually didn't like the bodywork. But today it actually looks it looks like it's as modern as modern could be. Pretty interesting. Come on, let's look at some more. We don't want to go over there. The police. We'll just avoid the police for the time being. Come on. This is the bike that I rode when I was out of college. It's a 1973 RD 350. Interesting bike. I think Cycle Magazine at the day. If you look at the front up here, and you look at this crude front disc brake. In the day, Cycle Magazine could not get over how fast this bike stopped. Now think about it. That was state of the art in 1973. It was incredible. And then we've got the Widowmaker next to it. Everybody wanted to ride one of these Kawasaki's. And this one's got some chambers on it. It's been done really well. Come on, we got more bikes to say. Suzuki RG500 V4, two stroke. I've wanted one of these forever in a day, but I can't afford it. So I can at least look at it. And we've also got what appears to be an LC, okay, an RZ500. This bike was never in, released in America. I think it was Canada, was as close as you could get to get one of these. Come on, let's look at some more bikes. Now we're over in the ubiquitous. Montessa, if you remember from Potomac, we saw so many of these. Now we've got a really nice one, perfectly done right here. Now we'll try to take a look at a, the ubiquitous row of Triumphs. These are some very nicely put together Bonnevilles. They look great. We've got a BSA Rocket 3 right up here. Yes, I take it. Come on, let's go look at some more bikes.
believe it or not, Honda is bringing these back this year. It's funny to see one here. I don't know, that might be too much bike for me. We'll try it though. Come on, we got even more neat stuff here. Old BMWs, a Galera, the Moto Gucci, the V750, Ambassador. MV Agusta, which was prepared by Alvin Bold. And this Ducati, if I'm not mistaken, we may have seen this one back at Radnor a few years back. I love it. I love the metal flank. Now turn around, looking right here. Look at this Crocker. We were just told that this was just purchased for a boatload of money. 1939 motorcycle. Look at that chrome. Look at it. It's just beautiful. Some interesting things on it are if we come around. You'll see that it has a tank shift on it, which is just a little too old for me. All right. Now we're just going to finish up here in front of this rudge. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. Martin Motorsports, this happens every year, starting, usually it's like on March 1st, first weekend in March. You gotta come here, support Dennis Martin. All through the year, if you want to Triumph, Kawasaki, Yamaha, come here. This is a great dealership. Dennis puts a lot into the sport. Thanks again, and hey, as always, I want you all to have an awesome week. Take care.